welcome back to the Tarot Bee. I'm Debbie here with your reading for the 17th of February. A bit more awake today. Hope you're all doing well. Right. Okay. What have we got for a message then for the 17th of Febs? We're going to start up with the Wheel of Fortune. So somebody's lucky day perhaps. That wheel often spins in our favour, taking control of our lives. Okay, coming in to support that, we have the Page of Cups. So we may have had an offer coming in, a love offer, or we may have a romantic interest on the cards here. Could have been an apology also. But possibly a love interest. We obviously need more cards. The Empress is coming in in the final position for our future energies. So the Empress is the mother card. So you could have a mother around your significance. You could be a mother. You could be expecting a baby. Okay. Uh, you know, a number of things. Again, it's a major. Two majors here, actually. Um, a number of things it could mean, obviously. So we need more insights. It's generally the mother card. Right, what's coming in then to clarify for us? So what have we got coming in to clarify the Wheel of Fortune here? The Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is that energy of feeling sorry for yourself a bit, really. It's um, dwelling on a loss and a sadness. It can be grief, suffering, sadness. Somebody's sad. You know, somebody is sad about the way events are going. Maybe. Has someone suffered a loss? But I mean, it's a lucky card. I don't really understand that. We need more on that for sure. But somebody's not seeing how lucky they are. Maybe you're not seeing how lucky you are. You're not grateful. You're not got the gratitude there. You need to have that. Um, there is cups there. You just don't see. And there's lots of growth behind you. The sun is rising. The, you know, it's not a dark. It's like dusk. Dusk? Is that? No, it's not right, is it? Dawn. <laughs> I see dawn in the picture, you know, this is sunrise, so it's times are getting better. Do you know how lucky you are? Clarifying our page of cups is the ace of cups. I've just realised I've not pulled this one. I'll do it in a minute. <laughs> Honestly, what am I like? I forget. I forget these things. Uh, Ace of Cups, brilliant. So this this is possibly a new love coming in. For some of you, you might have pregnancy. Um... You might have a pregnancy, but, um, you know, I'm seeing this as a love offer. You know, this is a love offer coming in. So a new love. But we're looking at what we've lost and not what we've got, maybe. The Empress. We've got the Emperor with the Empress. This is a mat. This is a pair. This is three and four in the deck. This is the father of the cards. There's mother and father here. Mother and father are important. This could be your mother and father. You could... Sorry, the camera switched off. You could be yourselves, mother and father, parents to a child. Like I said, I am picking up this could be a pregnancy for some people. Maybe you've lost um, lost children in the past. You've, had, you've suffered uh, miscarriages. I see three, but I see two children. So... It could be that, you know, it could be that you're wishing, you're really wishing for a child right now. Um, really good sign, though, that you've got these two cards. This is a strong, strong a partnership. So we'll, we'll get more, more insight. I didn't pull this card because I forget, because I'm forgetful. Very forgetful these days. Right. What have we got from the... Psychic Tarot Oracle deck for the 17th. This is the 17th of February 23. That's important. Why have we got these cards here? The mother and father. So we're seeing power. So this is strength card. Power. Leo energy. an old wise figure in that picture too you know power strength courage faith 
overcoming problems you will overcome a problem you, you, you feel like this is a problem it's not you're lucky you're very lucky you don't know how lucky you are oh that wants to come out so i'm gonna let it and the devil did that want to come out should we let that so we've got two majors that have just fallen out so then we've got the world there and we've got the devil so you there's a there's an ending coming i feel like the ending is 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 about this so this pain this sadness it, it something's come to f full circle something's ended something's completed there's an accomplishment here there's an accomplishment perhaps you've overcome your fears your anxieties perhaps you will overcome these fears anxieties this sadness um we had the devil yesterday didn't we there's, there's, there's toxicity around but i think i think it's ending because we've got this, the world there, that means that, that that is ending, that cycle, that period of your life, whatever that toxicity may be, addictions, ill health, you know, or toxic love or toxic parent or relationship, friendship, it's ending, that's ending, it's, coming, it's completion, you've accomplished something, perhaps you've accomplished it with strength, with courage, with power, you've overcome that problem. What do we need to know about this mother, father energy, that one? two path you're on the path there's another two so i see this as a, a, a double act of two people here i see you starting out on a path on a journey perhaps this is a path to parenthood for some people yeah perhaps you're planning on having children planning on commitment it's a it's it's like you you're on the beginning of a journey with this person yeah, there's a number of options you could be taking. You've got lots of decisions that you're making right now. A seven of swords. Do we have someone around who wants to sabotage this happiness? Oh, this is self-sabotage. Well, that's sabotage. That's sabotage. There's a seven of swords here. The Nine of Swords. This is self-sabotage, I think. This is you, your anxiety, your own fear and anxiety here. So are you are you fearful about bringing in a new love to your life, taking next steps? Are you, are you fearful about what the impact that might have on your children? Um, what, what What's your worry? What's your doubt? You know, we need to have some insight. We need to have some insight. You need to go within, you've got inner power, you need to go within, you need to use your gut, you need to have, there's someone intuitive here that realises, that understands that this is in your head. This is in, this is, you know, it's, it's going to make you poorly. It's keeping you up at night, you're not getting sleep, if somebody isn't getting sleep, they're worried. Something's really worrying them. The tower. Wow. Wow. I mean, the tower is sudden, something sudden happening. We've got the tower. Um, I see that your bad, the bad times are well and truly behind you, right? It has been a rough patch. You've definitely gone through something. And I think it's because of this person here. This person's like, I say, is dodgy. He's got some trouble. Liar, thief, uh, cheat, whatever he is. Trouble. He's trouble. Uh, he's still keeping you up at night. The trauma. But he's blocking your path. This is a block on the path. You know, we've got the path here. And this is blocking it. It's toxic energy. You need to, I don't know, cleanse yourself. You need to do something to remove this toxicity because it's not good. It's not doing you any favours. You're not seeing what you have. You're not being grateful for what you have while she's dwelling on the past. This person may keep coming in. They may be bugging you or whatever. You need to block a negative person out or if this is your own doubt self doubt whatever that is procrastination self doubts um low self esteem block it get rid of it remove it remove it remove the person remove the situation move yourself from the situation start on this new path with i see you've got somebody new here 
you know, I see this as a new love coming in. Somebody wants to offer you the love. Somebody wants to ask you out on a date. And you're dwelling on perhaps bad times and tragic times and something awful happening to you. You're having to pick yourself up from, like, the foundations again. And that worries you. But what I see in the future there is a power couple, a mother, father, a strong unit. A very strong unit, powerful, you know. Mother and father of the tarot deck there. Right, any more advice, guidance? Today's situation, three cards. The Ace of Pentacles. This is a re this opportunity needs to be grabbing both hands. This is invaluable. Invaluable. Oh, two. The Hermit and the Knight of Wands. So, the Hermit keeps coming out. You, I feel you've been left on your own and you're feeling on your own. You're feeling isolated. You feel like you can't do this path on your own. You feel like this path's too long. It's too scary. This is a scary path. I mean, this in this particular deck, it's like he's in space and it's like a rock ledge that he's walking on. Yeah, we wouldn't want to be there on that path. No, we wouldn't. Um, there's nothing around. He's got a light. It's light to light him up. Concentrate on the light. Concentrate on your strength, on your inner strength, you know? You've got that power within. Go within, access it. Look, here, you've got new opportunities. A brand new opportunity. It's a gold mine. It's coming in. It's coming. I think that, that I think you've had that offer on the table. It could be that it's a new career for you. It could be the offer of a job there with that Ace of Pentacles. It could be you, you may have had um, some money coming in to you. But, you know, I see this as being a person of importance. Somebody of value, of value. You know, that, that's a valuable object. It's, it's something of value there. And as we're going on, so right now you're in this, you're in this turmoil within. I feel like the turmoil's within. You're not seeing the potential in this you're not going with the flow you're not going with the change you're not accessing um you're not tapping in to the universe flow as we're going on we've got the knight of wands and the knight of wands is pulls himself out of this energy for sure and heads towards something passionately enthusiastically exciting this is exciting this is for this adventure it's active it's doing it's going for it you're going to go for it with it with this person Eventually, I think you will see the light. You will. You will see the light. You will go for it. The Knight of Wands goes for it with passion, with enthusiasm, with fun. Detect risks. It's a new start. It's going to lead to something amazing for you. You know? Stability. Right. Final message, please. The Queen of Swords wanted to come out. She keeps wanting to come out and all, doesn't she? The widow. Right. Come on. What have we got? Final message for us today. The Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is really independent energy. Right. You are an independent. It's feminine. You know this energy. It doesn't have to be a woman. But you're very independent, grounded. You, you don't rely on anybody else for money. You have everything. You're very lucky. You're very lucky. You have everything you want. You're hitting the ground running with career, money. You, you may own your own, own home or some possessions or something. You may you may have some savings. You're doing really well for yourself. And you're very independent. I think it's a fear of letting someone else in. Honestly, that's what I see the reading as being today. You, and it's because you've been through something. You know, that Queen of Swords wants to come out. You've been through something. We've got the tower there. You've been through a trauma. It's brought you It's brought you right down to, to the roots. Right down to your roots. But it's a new day, a new dawn. That's what we see in those cards. A new opportunity, something of value. Go within, access the power. You're very powerful. You're very strong. You have the courage. You have the foresight to go for this. And what I see in the future there is a real power couple. You know, you may be thinking, oh, I'm too old to have kids or whatever. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be about having children with somebody. These is a mother and father. Think about what qualities a mother and father offer. 
the world, you know, what, what they are together, what that means, what that symbolizes, the power in that, the authority, the care in that nature of it, you know. So, oops, oh, this card never wants to stay on there, does it? Right. So, what have we got then from the universe for today? For the 17th of February, what's the message? What do we need to take away from today's reading? What's important? What's important for the viewers? Queen of Swords. You can't write it, can you? You can't make this up. You know, I just want to say, because I was going to say at the end, over, well over 50% of my viewers are not subscribed to this channel. And I just want you to tell you that I am genuine. You can see I'm a genuine person. I'm a genuine reader. Um, and I watch a lot of tarot channels. I love it. I love YouTube. Um, now, I can see there's some people out there that are fake, they're false, but they've got so many, they've got thousands of followers, and I think, how? How? You know, and, and there's genuine people like myself who are getting lost in that. You know, I'm going to be the Queen of Swords here, speaking my truth, Anna. But it's, it's how I see it, and I think it's not fair, you know, uh, people are, are being duped, people are being conned. Um, I am I am a genuine reader, and I see the Queen. I saw the Queen of Swords figure in this reading. This is you. You know, this is a widow. This is someone who's been through trauma, a tragedy. And and with that, they've kind of like I see somebody's like got themselves in a cocoon, or or they've they've isolated themselves. They've got themselves in a really comfortable position. Where they're happy with their, their lot, but they don't. We don't want to let anybody else in because they don't. Because that's self protection. That's normal. We don't want to go through that pain again. Why? Why would? Why would we? It's safe here where we are in our bubble. Uh, and I, I do see here that there's a there's a promising new beginning. It's it's if it's not been offered to you, it will be offered to you soon. And 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 you need to pull yourself out of this self sabotage mode that you're in. You need to see your own worth. You need to see your own potential. And then you need to go forward with some drive towards whatever this may be. You know, which I see as being a, a really strong partnership. That's how I see it. I hope you enjoyed today's message. If you did, please do give me a big like, subscribe, and I shall see you tomorrow. I'll be back. Take care.